Well, hey, howdy, everybody. Here we are at Camp One Dog Workshop, out in the driveway doing a test fire. Um, I already did a quick fire on this guy, so I know it's not going to blow up. But I still got to do the long fire, so I'm going to fire it up again for you. And let it run for about a half an hour, an hour, just to make sure everything stays put together. Now, these old arc lamps are uh, kind of the Model T of the lantern business. They require a lot of farting around to get them going good. These like a lot of pressure, so I give it about 15 of those to get it going. And then because it's a torch light, you have to get your uh, generator good and hot so that when you run your fuel through it vaporizes right away. If your generator isn't hot enough and it's uh, pushing partially vaporized fuel and a little liquid fuel, this thing is going to get really dramatic. You're going to nice big bright flames like a campfire and smoke and flame shooting out of the top and that's not what you want to do. Um, but it'll probably happen the first time you try it. So, however you want to heat your generator, you know, they got those barbecue lighters that will reach up in there and all kinds of different ways. Um, and I typically, I use a barbecue lighter because it's quick and easy. But for my dramatic videos, I like to go old school. So I, I make up these little torches and I use uh, denatured alcohol. <laughs> you don't want to use gasoline, naphtha, white gas, acetone, fingernail polish remover, or anything like that. Because a flame gets too hard to put out and you got a bonfire on a stick and that's not what you want. So I'm going to fire this guy up, heat the generator. I'm not going to have to heat it as long as I normally do for a start because it has been running already. But uh, here we go. This is the show. Denatured alcohol is a real clean flame. You can hardly see it. So I'm poking it in, holding it next to the generator. And you can kind of see the flame is starting to illuminate the mantles a little. So I'm just going to give this a crack. There we go. Now your first fire, after it's been sitting a while, your fuel might have drained out or evaporated out of the generator. So what I do, when I know it's good and hot, I just give it a quick bump and turn it off. If it doesn't uh, light up, that means there's not enough fuel in the generator. I give it another bump and turn it off. And I keep doing that until I get a pfft, and a mantle light up. And then I just crank this baby up as much as it'll go. Um, I don't know how good the audio is on this, but if it was closer, you could hear this guy roar. And they do. They are, they make a great noise. I love them. So, the trick is, enough pressure, clean fuel. You could probably run unleaded regular. I've never, I've never done that because I don't want to screw up these generators. These are reproduction generators that come from, uh, well, it's not Mike anymore, but they come from old Coleman parts. I think the guy's name is Rob. Anyway, you can buy the generators. The globe I use is a reproduction globe that I get through Greg Seabrook. He has the original molds, and he'll have, you know, like a hundred of these guys made up. I'm going to Ohio tomorrow to pick up 30 of them, so I know I've got them. <coughs> the font is from a regular CQ lamp. Same diameter and just about the same profile as a regular one. Um, make my own collar. The valving is from a 220 or 228. The, the shade and all of this I manufacture right in the shop. So this is a 316T arc lantern, camp wounded dog. This one's number 18 out of a series of 50. I'm only building 50 of these guys. Um, and this one's going to Ken Brown. So we're taking that. Actually, I'm going to Craig Seabrooks tomorrow to pick up my 30 globes and uh, delivering this to Ken on the way. So there we go. I'm going to let this guy burn for about an hour or two just to make sure that everything is fine. So thanks for stopping by the Camp Wound Dog Workshop. Hope everybody has a good weekend. Oh, the mantles I'm using right now. These are those cheapies you can buy from American Mantle Company. The reason I'm using that 
is when I'm doing test burns on lanterns and stuff. Sometimes I have to go through two or three sets of mantles just to get everything dialed in. And I don't want to be using like $5 mantles when I can be using $1 mantles. This is not my favorite mantle for uh, general use. I like the 21, the Coleman 21, and also uh, Peerless makes a mantle that's comparable to the 21. They're a little cheaper and they burn just as good. But the Peerless, if you're using those, takes about a half an hour for them to really season and give you a bright burn. So if you're using a Peerless and you light it up, you're not really crazy about it, be patient, it'll brighten up. All right. That's it. Have a good weekend. Stay healthy. Try to stay out of jail and all that kind of stuff. Y'all, I got a pack. I'm going to Ohio. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I'm out of here. Get out of here. Bye.